my name is Kenneth Kera Gishera. I have, I'm a mechatronic engineering student that has recently graduated from Jacob University. Uh, today uh, we are exhibiting our project uh, called the Weed Boat. Uh, we decided to showcase our project to see uh, so that people can get inspired and see what we have done. Uh, our project uh, involves uh, making an autonomous uh, weeding robot. Uh, the weeding robot is specifically designed to address the problems that uh, the farmers encounter when it comes to weeds. Uh, weeds have been shown that they reduce yields of crops up to 60%. So uh, our mission is to eliminate uh, to provide an alternative solution that is able to detect the weeds uh, automatically using artificial intelligence trained by Microsoft Azure services, cognitive services and machine learning and also to pluck them uh, from the ground effectively. As we have seen that uh, plucking them from the ground is able to effectively kill the weeds. As uh, cutting them or uh, using herbicides is not uh, a suitable solution, as when you cut them, the weeds are going to grow back again. I'm Michael Moisakeni. I'm part of the team called the Knights, working on the weeding robot. How it does this is through uh, object detection and classification. So now we train the robot, uh, the AI, in the robot uh, with photos. 200 photos of, of the crop and 200 of, of the photos of the weed which is affecting uh, your farm. And after that, we train it in Azure Cloud Platform that takes less than five minutes and the AI is good to go. You upload it on the robot and place it on the first row of your farm. Now this robot goes in between the rows of crops. Uh, the space which a human being would have walked through the farm. And it is a maximum, it, it is, by width it is 40 centimeters, which is uh, allowable for most, is the minimum distance between rows for most crops. Therefore the robot is able to go through between the, cro the crop rows most of most crops and then it pulls a weeding attachment which eradicates uh, the weeds which are in between the rows. My name is Anthony Brown and what I do is I represent a company called Cubic 3D. We are an online 3D printing services that strives to make the versatile technology of 3D printing accessible to you. 3D printing is useful in very many applications such as engineering, architecture, modeling of any kind of artistic work and that is why we aim to bring it to you because many people believe it is not as accessible but we have made it accessible to you. We have a website, kibit3d.co.ke and there you can upload our designs. You can put them there, we'll take a look and give you a quotation. We have a variety of materials such as ABS, PTG and TPU which is a flexible rubber-like material. Therefore, if you wanted to do a, manical, a mechanical design with vibrational control, you can do that using 3D printing technology. Here I have a model which is the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower was designed a long time ago, but you can print a model like this which is actually practically impossible using hand techniques. 3D printing technology is 2D printing over and over again. So it uses a fused filament and deposit, deposits it very accurately such that it can move from the first layer to the top layer and therefore you have your final model. So the technologies are a Cura slicer and any other slicer that's available. Other technologies are, if I go to the completely other spectrum, you can have sintering. And apart from sintering, you also have um, polymerization of a liquid resin. So those are the technologies that are also available for 3D printing. My name is Velda Kiara. I am the developer student club lead in JQuart. Developer Student Club is a club that is sponsored by Google, run by students for students. So what we do is we bridge the gap between theory and practice because most of our students know so much about the theory part but cannot do the practical bits. So this is where we use Google technologies to help us develop mobile apps, web development. We also have other tracks that is Internet of Things, Cyber Security and Data Science. I would say they will actually I will motivate them to join us 
because you not only get to learn but you also get to see people's perspectives and views in how they perceive the technology world and you get to also interact with people who are potential users of the products that you build. You also get to network with other people who have done much more than what you have done. Yes, I would say I would encourage them to actually join us and be able to learn with us. The technology world is the best place you can ever be. And yes, let's build, connect, grow and learn. My name is Haron Kuto, a mechatronic engineer. I've developed a machine here in Jaycourt, a machine of which it's called vending grain. From the word vending grain, it's a vendor machine which uh, stores, dispenses, measures grains as uh, option by the, the user or the buyer. You can come select, customize to the user, you can come select uh, the amount of grain you want or the amount of cash you want to spend on a certain grain. It dispenses to you one of the grain or if you want grains, both of them mixed, yeah, can dispense for you mixed and then it will have a provision of a payment system like uh, uh, M-Pesa where after paying for the product it's now finally it dispenses for you. For now it dispenses and accurately measures the weight or the weight of the of the content. It not only used the for grains but also can be used to, in the farmhouse to meet uh, animal feed in the ratios you want. Yeah, this machine is, uh, can, can be used uh, for its application now. It can be in a retail, big retails like uh, outside supermarkets, or it can be bought by companies. Uh, for example, Kenya seed companies who vend their seeds to farmers who want to plant, so it will have their, their, their certified seeds. My name is Caleb. I'm in my fourth year, I'm studying mechatronics engineering, and my project is called Kazisha. So what we do, uh, we use artificial intelligence to interview people and we store the data on a blockchain cloud system so that it's incorruptible. So what we do, we, we give you a fair ground whereby you can showcase your skills without anybody considering whether you're from Kiambu or from Kambani. So that way employers can get the best quality of candidates without thinking whether this guy is somebody I know, is this uh, my relative, this is a friend of a friend, or things like those. What a candidate sees when trying to apply for a job is not what the employer sees. What the employer sees is that, let's say your name is John, and the bot gives you a random number like user 101. So what the employer sees is user 101 is the best here. So he or she gets a rank of all the people who have applied for the job and are eligible for the job. If he needs 10 employees, we shortlist for him 20 employees, then he can choose from that list. 